my name is Coach Diego. I'm the founder and program coordinator here at GoGo -Go Skateboarding Lessons. GoGo -Go began in 2013 once the skate shop I was working at initially had closed. It was at that skate shop that I was providing skate lessons in-house and also at local YMCA's and schools. I learned a lot about how skateboarding lessons were affecting the students, not just directly by showing them how to skateboard, but also showing the kids about themselves. There were a lot of kids who started off barely being, being able to push, and then by the last day, they were already like cruising like it was nothing. It's just super awesome seeing kids like having fun on skateboards, like just creates like a really positive energy. Each person is a different type of person, equaling out to everyone is a different type of skateboarder. It's important to stay true to who they are. I often tell the kids, you are your own kind of skateboarder. Don't worry about what anybody else in the class is doing. When they're working so hard to learn these new tricks, they become resilient, they become hard workers, and they know not to give up until they achieve it. The camaraderie and the positivity that comes with it is something that we definitely highlight in these classes. The amount of time and effort that it put into these classes to make sure everyone has fun, especially from Diego. He's such just a positive person who takes so much time out of his day to be here and having good energy. I definitely do think that skateboarding lessons has just brought me back to why I started and that's initially just for the fun of it and to not take it so seriously. When you're skating out in the field with these kids, it really is nostalgic and it does bring myself and I think it does bring a lot of our coaches back to why it is they started skateboarding, right? For the sheer fun of it. Get it, Kayla. Oh my gosh. Ah! No, no. <laughs> I believe in you. Woo! Yeah, Kayla! Everyone skates for different reasons. Some people like ramps, some people don't. Some people like to go slow, some people like to go fast. Some people like to. Some people learn slow, some people learn fast. So everyone's different. So as long as we remember to be respectful, everybody can have a good time on a skateboard, you know? Skateboarding will positively impact multiple people because all the people say, oh, you're too old to skateboard. You're like 30 something, 20 something. No, skateboard is stuff for all ages because it's a good exercise, a good way to burn off calories, a good way to get out of the house. Especially now, like, good to at least go outside because everybody's just on their phone and all that. I've been skateboarding for four days. <laughs> and you rip already. Whether it's a good time or bad time, you got your board. There, there's no way around it. I mean, that for any child, any any youth in general, is a good way to start your day. Whether you're mad at your parents, whether you're mad at yourself, or you're happy and stoked on life in general. Whether you're there and do it for 20 minutes or the whole day. I think having your board with you and on you at all times is just good energy for you. Really love it, really care about it. You'll do it more. You'll do it alone. You'll do it with other friends. You'll have other people to do it with you. It kind of just naturally helps other good people gravitate towards you. You want to stick with that good energy. So. Although people could say it's a very individual sport, I would say it's actually more um, collaborative sport where, you know, being together, that's what that's what skateboarding is all about. And I've definitely, like, I definitely was reminded of that from the kids. So. As you as you progress through your in your path, you you choose what kind of skateboarding you like based off your own personality. For me, skateboarding is a way to get out and just be myself without anyone judging or anyone saying anything. But at the end of a hard day, I'll just go out, even if it's dark, and just ride around. I don't even have to do any tricks. Skateboarding became more of a social thing where. Obviously, yeah, I was still enjoying the physical aspect of it. It became an outlet where I could meet new people. Uh, I've met a lot of great people through 
skateboarding? Personally, to me, I think that skateboarding is um, it's essentially freedom. It's, it's, a, it's a great way of taking your mind off of things. Like, you had a bad day, you can just go out, get some fresh air, go skate, you know, get some good, like, exercise, right? It just makes you feel great. You do what makes you feel good in here. I think they're the best example of showing what it's like to really feel that naturally 120% without any other fear in the world. They are, they are the future. So there's no, there's no like denying it. It's just them doing exactly what they want to do, how they do it, the best way, shape, and form they can. My name is Arthur and I've been skating for about two years or so and skating makes me feel free. My name is Corey. I've been skating for about one year. Initially, it was just about teaching the kids how to skateboard. It wasn't until a parent had reached out and mentioned that their son was getting bullied, but through the skateboarding lessons, that person acquired a little bit more self-confidence, and I think through the camaraderie and just the, the high fives that go into a skate class naturally, that student acquired like a newfound sense of confidence, and the mom communicated how that kid no longer cared what the bully had to say. It was at that point that I realized that we weren't just teaching skateboarding classes, but the indirect benefit of skateboarding classes is what really pushed me to pursue this. I do really just want to thank the San Jose community. I want to thank everyone who has been involved from the beginning, the San Jose Unified School District, my friends and family. Everyone in this community has always been so positive and so supportive of this venture for me to see where we started, where we're going, the genuine interest people have in getting involved and helping out. It's been really humbling and just surreal to have the support from my community, especially from my buddies who are uh, super core skateboarders and at times might perceive as cool guys for them to really just extend that support and love for what we're doing out in the field with the kids. It's really cool. My goal is to give back as much as I can and uh, provide a legacy for us as skateboarders to lead.